Well, earlier I went to the city to speak with Angela Knight of the British Bankers Association. I asked her if she regarded what had taken place as criminal behaviour. I don't know at this stage any more than I've seen in the reports that are public. But I do think that there will undoubtedly be some uh, further work that's been undertaken by the authorities. And we'll just have to wait and see uh, what the outcome is. One of the difficulties that we have is that the BBA, which you are the director, uh, is not only a trade association, but it is also, uh, it actually has responsibility for the LIBOR. And Barclays Bank lied to you. What are you going to do about it? The rate that the any bank sets uh, is not to us, no. The rate is sent to a third party operator. Well, you've outsourced the collection of the figures. It, is, it has always been undertaken in that way. But you are responsible for the LIBOR. Otherwise, why is it called the BBA LIBOR? Because we own the trademark. That's absolutely correct. Sometimes this does get very confused that the, the process of actually creating the rate is undertaken by third parties and of course the contributors are fully within the regulated sphere. But, now, the, re but, have, but, the, but the LIBOR is your responsibility. You um, are morally, and heaven knows that's an abused word, but you are morally responsible for the integrity of the LIBOR. Barclays Bank lied to you. And you what are you going to do about them? We have already got uh, a big review underway, one in which our authorities are involved, and by that I mean Bank of England, I mean the Treasury, and of course the FSA. And what we are doing is taking what is uh, now in the uh, public domain as a consequence of that investigation, and it will be considered by that review process. In I other words, you, proper, you, you, that you, is the proper process. You, and so, how soon will you visit whatever punishment or whatever else happens? How soon will you visit that on Barclays? Punishment for whatever Barclays did is 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 lying elsewhere. You've seen some of it occur already in the, the major fines. So uh, let what me get this clear. You what, run the LIBOR. We, you run the what, LIBOR. What we, a, a bank lies to you and there's nothing you actually as the BBA can do. That Correct? Not, I've told you that these issues are going to be considered within that review framework. That sounds pretty woolly. Well, I'm sorry, but that we'll have to disagree on that. I think that it is very important that one has a proper process in place. But this is devastating. Here we have an absolute core element of the banking system in the City of London which was completely running a, a mark, as far as we can tell from what the FSA has already said of what they're investigating and what Barclays have already proved. And you appear to have known nothing about it, done nothing about it, and don't even seem to have much power to do anything about it now. John, you can ask those exaggerated questions. Of course you can. These are not exaggerated. And the, answer, the whole integrity of the city of London you, is at stake. Perhaps if you'd like to let me give you the answer, it would be appropriate. Yes. The checking un is undertaken of the contributions. The further analysis of what all the banks contributed in the way of the rates is undertaken, and by experts, not by a trade association, but by experts. On behalf of your organisation, the, the BBA, which controls the LIBOR. On behalf of the market. And the authorities, the regulators, they are there in order to regulate these issues including contributions, including processes. They're the ones who supervise what is actually undertaken. Angela Knight, head of the British Bankers Association, talked to me earlier at our offices. And for more in-depth coverage of that report and full analysis, go to our website, channel4.com forward slash news. Cathy.